our stories are thought provoking. Um, uh, we have other plays that are, are African American dominant, and we have plays that that shows a different side of us. Um, some of the sides I don't agree with, uh, but there's a side of us that's not being represented uh, in theater. Uh, and I would say it's authentic African American theater, uh, and you can just you can take the African American away and just say it's theater. That's Rory Sharif, playwright, director, and owner of BNS Productions. Rory has been writing and directing for years, and just recently finished up production for his latest installment, Be a Lion, which ran at the Belk Theater inside Sweet Square in downtown Charlotte. Be a Lion is like. Um, if you take Hamilton, it's like Hamilton meets Motown, and you put us in Oz. So it, it's it's a cool, funky concept. We got some hip hop, we got some spoken word, we got that Motown sound, and even some of some of the singers take you to church, man. So you know these are some great performers. The original scores and melodious voices of the cast are second to none, and the play's biggest asset, especially coming from the lead role of the lion. We were we were auditioning, and I had like three people that you know were p possible lions, and I liked them. I would have been set settling for them. You know, they probably would have got the job done. I know they would have got the job done. But uh, Tony, uh, he came. I was like, uh, I listened to uh, Shar. I said, all right, cool. Uh, I'll audition, I'll audition him as lion. And he came, man. He uh, sang, I'm I'm a mean old lion from the Wiz, and he killed it. And then he, uh, he, he did his monologue. I was like, that's my line right there. Yeah, that's my line right there. Be a Lion is a story with its own unique and modern day urban flair. I started out uh, with, okay, what happens? That was the question, what happens now? Uh, and then I uh, started backtracking from the end to the, to the beginning. And I was like, well, the Wiz was a fraud. So what happens now, there's no one in charge. There's no one to rule Oz. So Oz is a lawless city now. Uh, it's like, you know, we took over and, and then we didn't put nobody in charge. Yeah. Who better to restore the order? Who's going to restore the order? And I was like, ah, the lion. He got his courage. The crew did a great job working together to stay on top of this production. My, my biggest thing is that we all have to get along. We all have to first acknowledge the vision, what's the vision, uh, and we all have to join in and share and believe in that vision uh, because if one doesn't believe in it, it sets off the whole, it sets the chemistry off of the entire production. So everybody's on point. Everybody knows what we need to achieve, what we need to accomplish, and everybody's close neck. Hot I got another original piece uh, that we that I wrote. Uh, and it's it's a musical, and that'll be uh, in the winter. And we got another piece uh, by August Wilson that just came off of Broadway, and that that uh, premieres August. And it never premiered here in Charlotte, so we're the first one bringing Jitney here to Charlotte. So. I appreciate you sitting down with me, man. Man, it's no problem, man. No doubt.